I recommend every guitar player to learn just a, the basics of bossa nova. This is Dominic Miller, guitarist and composer well known for his work with Sting. With a very impressive discography that includes some of the world's most famous guitarists, he's well versed in many different genres. How he got here? Downright impossible chord shapes that even the original guitarist tries to avoid when he plays it live. Then I thought that's not true, but then actually it is true. <laughs> I'm here in Amsterdam, I'm here with Paul Davids and I'm <laughs> determined to play the correct chord on Shape of My Heart. Well, that's the short story, but today Dominic is showing me the basics of his first love, the bossa nova. It's all about the touch. And once you've got the basics of bossa nova, there's very many places you can go from there. If you can understand the basics of this chord sequence, then you, you kind of can play any bossa nova. Before I could do anything, I'd learned how to just play simple... It's a lovely rhythm. Those are the chords for Corcovado, otherwise known as Quiet Nights. Quiet nights of quiet stars, quiet chords from a guitar. It's a great way to start Bossa Nova, I think. Shall we start with just playing the first chord? Can you oh, okay. Me? And then the rhythm. So yeah, the rhythm like is, a... is where it all leans on, right? The rhythm. It's the rhythm. Everything's back. You've got to lay back. You know, I'm and always rushing, so this is, is going to be my you know, but I, killer's heel. We all rush, but the thing is just like, it's just really super laid back. It's like one, two, three, four. So keep playing that. Yeah, you got the root, you got the feel. That's oh. exactly it. Really? So always just, back. Just go back. It seduces you, this kind of <laughs> groove. Yeah. There's nothing like it. It's holding back secrets. That's what yeah. I'm like. Yeah. Mm, that sounds what's happening. Okay, so we grab a D7 chord here. Yeah. And we, all we do is alternate that bass. Yeah, ring. just play the bass. And sometimes you uh, like just do it really simple so everything's on the beat. So it's like. That's one rhythm. Okay, I got this. And the other rhythm is push. Except the bass yeah. stays, stays normal. Uh, yeah. Which is kind of cool. I like that rhythm a lot. Yeah. And the third uh, bossa nova rhythm that I really like is. Sort of a very staccato. So there's three Flavors. favorite rhythms. So, but then it's just a question of mixing and matching. So I'll give you an example of kind of doing a, a combination of all yeah. three. So you got one, two, three, four. Absolutely. Lovely. It's a great um, basis for someone to improvise over and to solo over. But so if you were like a let's say a blues guitarist or you had a, a pentatonic uh, kind of vocabulary, which yeah. is great, you would find you find yourself using that uh, vocabulary in a completely different way. Just mm -hmm. just blow on them, but just Me? like really laid back in okay. a sort of in jazz time. You know what I mean? Thank you. 
I get it. It's just A minor pentatonic on the D. Yeah, exactly. That's interesting on the D chord. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Because actually, I'm thinking of that chord really as a as an A minor chord. Yeah. Just let's put it in the context of the chord progression then, because we got that D nine basically, but we go to. G minor, C seventh, I'm the C, F major seventh. Okay. With that same rhythm. Great, man. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> I mean, you can just stay in the pentatonic, yeah. but if you wanted to go a little bit more serious about it, you could follow the chords. Yeah, but yeah. That's, I can't be bothered with that. If you, you know, if, if you do it too too much, it becomes too yeah. technical and too robotic yeah. sometimes. I find the best uh, improvisers are the ones who don't think about the chords. Mm. Are the ones who yeah. just do it uh, from the body. How it's it more reacts. Of, also it's more of a like. I, I always say a horizontal approach versus a vertical approach. Like the horizontal approach where you tell the story, right? Absolutely. And if you, if you focus on the chords too much, the story gets lost. I totally you know? agree. So you, we can also extend the chords with one more note on a B string. You go to D, I saw you play before D9, like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So before we add the melody, I think we can add one more extension to the chord. So we go. Yeah. And then uh, do a little bar there, which yeah. is a bit tricky. Half a bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody likes that. I can pull that off. You know, you could do a full bar, but I think that's it's a waste of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's free. Regular major seventh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty. Oh. Mm. But I think that's a bit posh. Sharp eleven. Yeah. Spicy. You don't need that just yet. No, no, no. Okay, so the last bit is adding that melody you uh, played. Well, if you want to add the melody, you've got to give something up because you can't do everything. So let's just say we're not going to do all the whole bass line. Let's let's just make it an A minor six first chord so yeah. it's just so that we can get the melody what I want to get is two three four one that's what I want on that first chord okay but how do I get that so the only way is just to go okay yeah you yeah. know what I mean so we play four on D and five and five on G and B yeah. with the open A string okay now you can alternate between the D and the E on the B string yeah that's what yeah. you to work out, yeah. I'm That's just, what you're good at. Yeah. That's it. Great. And then go to this chord. Keeping that yeah. bar. Yeah. Same. Same on the top. So yeah, that's quite. Yeah. The only thing that changes is the bass. Oh, and this note. Yeah. And then G minus seven. Oh, actually, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So we. Also so here we have to give something up as, as, again. Yeah. So we're not playing a root note. 
We're not playing the C, we're just going straight to the You know what? It's a bit clashy. Yeah. So we've. I would actually go. Have this on its own. There's nothing wrong with having melody on its own. Sometimes it's very beautiful. Uh. Yeah. And then you can breathe. So, So uh, before we go to the G minor we hit that high G. Yeah, whatever you want. Oh, you could yeah. It's an option. O optional note is always good. So if you feel like it, do it. I would have it on a standalone. Yeah. Oh okay, again. Like yeah. just with the F. And then mm, yeah, yeah. I think I should I'm always afraid of a single no, note no, because no. but but it it actually it, it it's like the vocalist you you or you suddenly the band drops out and the vocals is left on its own there's a lot to be said for that yeah of like laying out because you know right. playing the a solo guitar is a little bit like a mini orchestra you're the band yeah so sometimes the band, yeah, the players band. just need to chill yeah so by Band you know comes I mean? in after this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then. I think that's it. This is it. We shouldn't push it too far. Okay, melody. play it 10 times before you can really start to feel and yeah. start to think well sometimes before you do anything i think the best way to approach these kind of tunes or any tunes really is just like just sit there for five minutes and just go yeah you can even make a phone call while you're doing or we'll read a book but it's just like it's it's like a trance like all music has a sort of trance and this, that's this trance. Yeah. And then... It's great how you... You have to move, right? A little bit. It's, yeah. it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But that's the most important thing. Instead of just... Yeah. Like, don't play like a sort of classical player. You have to really chill chill out on this and imagine you're just like in a restaurant with a I your, think that's your girlfriend or your that's exactly what makes you such a versatile guitar player and very distinctive in your sound you blend all these genres together yeah. you've got the rock sound from Hendrix but you also got the classical sound yeah. and the precision from a classical player but also hope so the sensitive touch from yeah like that Brazilian uh, repertoire a, I'm, I'm very lucky to have been uh, exposed to so many types of music but it's it, what I with the end product is like I'm a, a little bit like a, a character actor I put myself in different situations and yeah. none of them are really authentic <laughs> you know you should um, never say that it, but it's really none of it is authentic okay but it's just I, I put myself in character mm -hmm. you know because you know the, the real uh, yeah. me there isn't it's just like a, a combination of all those things the yes. real you is is what you actually end up writing Yes, as a musician, okay, of course. What yeah. you write is is represents who you are as a musician. Yeah, 
but this helps if you play a lot of these different genres yeah. your writing always adapts to that but I recommend every guitar player to learn just a, the basics of bossa nova okay well I really do because it's you, it's a double edged sword you're going to learn about feel yeah, and you're going to learn about jazz chords and touch it's all about the touch and once you've got the basics of bossa nova there's very many places you can go from there mm. yeah it really got me excited yeah. i think i'm gonna loop this chord progression and then just play over it find different voices yeah. thank you so much dominic hey thanks paul it's been good to hang out man absolutely we should yeah. do it one more time oh for sure yeah and uh Grab a cup of coffee yeah, in Paris right. somewhere. <laughs> and you're, I must say, you're a very good baker. Oh, I like thank the, you. the bread that you make. <laughs> yeah. He makes his own bread, guys. <laughs> I've been playing my heart out, and the one thing he compliments me is the baking. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I love your no, no. playing, your technique, and, <laughs> and all that sort of thing. No, but it's great. Great thank to hang you. out. All right, yeah, likewise. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. See Bye. You later. Well, I, I think my favorite's going to be you and me playing Shape together.